This segment is sponsored by Mercy Health, whose kidney transplant center has been in our community for nearly 50 years. In that time, the team has performed more than 2,800 kidney transplants. Here to talk about the program is Surgical Director, Dr. Joel Strachey, and it is good to have you, Dr. Strachey. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, tell me, what are some of the most common reasons that somebody might need to experience a kidney transplant? Yeah, the uh, two of the most common reasons for end-stage kidney disease, uh, blood pressure um, and diabetes. Those are the two most common reasons that we see. Because they, they destroy the kidneys, the experience of that disease progression does that? Yes, when those um, diseases are uncontrolled, unfortunately, it does wreak havoc on many areas in the body, of course, uh, specifically the kidneys. Got it. You have a lot to brag about with this program, so many years in our community, but can you give us some of the highlights? Yeah, um, we've been here uh, doing kidney transplants for uh, just about 50 years, uh, which is pretty uh, fantastic. We were right on par with other centers in the state, um, and we've been doing uh, transplants again for that time. Uh, as you said previously, uh, just over 2,800 transplants we've done since uh, our initiation uh, almost 50 years ago. Out of those 2,800, uh, just over 1,100 have been living donors. Uh, so we have a very active living donor program here in Grand Rapids. Yeah, uh, and it, it, I was explaining to you that I, I have been exposed to that a little bit. That, that living donor, that's a special, uh, a special gift that they give. Your program celebrates it all the time. Yes, uh, it's very special. Um, we have many different types of living donors. Uh, people can come forward um, if they know a family member, a loved one, spouse, family, friend, whatever it be, um, and they can directly donate to that person. Um, but us here at St. Mary's, uh, we're now involved with the National Kidney Registry. And so we've had a number of altruistic donors now, these people are very special. They don't know specifically anybody with end-stage kidney disease. They don't know anybody that necessarily needs a transplant tomorrow or in the next day, um, but they just want to give their kidney. Um, and that's very, very, very special. Uh, so now we're involving them in the National Kidney Registry where they have the potential to help not just one person, uh, but multiple people in a chain reaction. Yeah, so tell that's me how that registry system. works. So the National Kidney Registry is a national organization um, it has many different functions, um, but most exciting, it is able to pair um, a living donor with a recipient that was uh, previously unpaired or unmatchable. So recipient A comes forward with donor A for whatever reason, they're not a match, whether it be incompatible blood types or maybe a size mismatch. Uh, we enter them then into the National Kidney Registry. Donor A will donate to recipient B they have a donor that they're not a compatible match with, but then that donor B is a match with uh, recipient A. So that's just a simple swap, um, but those swaps could be five, six people long. Um, I've heard of chains up to 30 people long too. Oh my uh, so word. People starting these chains um, have the possibility to help more than just one person. It's, it's, a, nat it's, a, it's a great thing. Yeah, one of those complicated tile games where you're moving all the pieces and parts out. <laughs> what an impact. Yeah. That, that you're having on people's lives and, and the donation of a kidney, both donor and recipient can expect to live long, healthy lives, right? Yes, of course, um, especially the recipient, you know, their lives are completely changing after transplants. Uh, they're liberated from dialysis, whether that be peritoneal dialysis or hemodialysis. Uh, they're liberated, have more time, social interactions, you know, get to restart financial improvements because they get to go back to work. Um, and then donors, of course, live normal, healthy lives as well uh, with just one kidney. There's many people that are born with just one kidney, don't even know it. Mm. Um, so it's very possible for somebody to live with one kidney. All right. Well, congratulations and thank you for the work that you do. And of course, if folks want to learn more about the Mercy Health Kidney Transplant Program, they may do so at mercyhealth.com slash kidney dash transplant. We'll put a link to it on our site at 13onyourside.com. Thanks, Dr. Strachey. Thank you very much.